several state lawmakers got a surprise when they walked into their offices after the three-day holiday weekend. Catherine Cruz explains in our top story. Catherine. Well, we first told you about how work on the leaky roof was finally getting underway this summer. But in the process of removing soggy insulation, water began seeping down into lawmakers' offices and short-circuiting some light fixtures. This is what happened when they tried to turn the lights on in John Mizuno's office this morning. It honestly goodness scared us. I mean, we, you know, would not want to start a fire at the state capitol. So we turned it off. We contacted the sergeant at arms and the contractor. The electrical short is just the latest of a string of problems. Water spots began appearing in the ceiling tiles over the spot where Mizuno sits and does work on his computer. Last week, some of the tiles in the front room gave way. Mizuno staff has been joking about whether or not they should wear helmets, but it's really no laughing matter because some of the ceiling tile broke this vase, which was a gift to the office. Crews hired to do a four and a half million dollar job to reseal the fifth floor rooftop have had to deal with soggy insulation. The Department of Accounting and General Services believes it's due to leaks over the last two decades. Contractor Kaikor is responsible for any damages from the roofing job. A crane is removing a lot of the debris from the rooftop, but crews have no control over Mother Nature, leaving behind puddles of water that isn't helping the situation in the offices down below. All of a sudden, the ceiling comes down, and as I say, this is second time, and it always happens on a three-day weekend. It's just bad luck for Thielen, but she says the contractor has been very responsive. Here are some of the soggy ceiling tiles, and that came down from there. The prior time, about one-fourth of the ceiling came down. Thielen removed artwork on the walls and purposely kept this area clear in case any more water seeps through. In Representative Chris Lee's office, drips continue to torture staffers as water collects in containers in the middle of the office. And down hallways, the telltale signs of trash cans strategically arranged to catch leaks warn that all is not well. Work on repairs are expected to be complete by the end of the year. And no one really wants to start the new legislative session with their offices torn up. Leaks are also getting to the governor's policy office. Back to you, Yunji.